Good morning, guys. It's now Saturday. I was about to say good morning. <laughs> You'd like to speak? <laughs> Am I loud? Sorry. I was, <laughs> I was pausing for you to speak. Right. Hello. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not do, redoing this either. This is staying in. Uh, yeah, it's Saturday. We haven't been boot sailing. We have gone to a book sale. Um, it's a new one for us and we got here early it's at the same place where we go to a jumble sale quite often and that, that jumble sale you need to be here about an hour early so we've got here how early about are we? 40 minutes early about 40 minutes early and there's nobody here <laughs> so obviously not quite as popular no. so yeah we thought we'd try something different and yeah check it out so I'm hoping there's going to be lots of media. Hope so. CDs, DVDs. We'll do a bit of scanning for FBA, aren't we? Yeah. So anyway, anyway, the little excuse me. Anyway, that's the plan. We'll try and film in there and show you what it's like, um, and see how we get on. Well, we got here way early because this is. Um, Did I say this in the car? Possibly. Anyway, we got here really early um, and there's nobody here whatsoever. When we come to the jumble sale, there's usually a massive queue at this point. So we're kind of wandering around the village. Yeah, it was a far to wonder, to be fair. <laughs> Just bored and idle. Yeah, we did meet a lovely lady and a dog called Gemma. We had a chat with a little dog called Gemma. It's funny because I just realised as we walked off I managed to get the dog's name, but not the, but not the lady's name. I didn't. I didn't say hi. How are you? I'm Nick or whatever. I just said, "What's your dog called?" And I chat with the dog. <laughs> it sounded like the dog was talking. She was going, "Hello, hello." <laughs> it was like a half-sized Monty without the brown spots. Yeah, little white fluffy thing. Yeah. So we've probably got another half hour to sit around in the middle of a village green. There is a pub. There's a pub, like here somewhere, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think it'd be good to have a beer at like but, half nine in the morning. Well, it won't be open, I would <laughs> So yeah, we're killing time. Yeah. Hmm. Fancy meeting you here. Hi. Do you want to join the queue? Yeah. Put it in the antique section. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Good. Quite enjoying it actually. Hey? I'm quite enjoying it actually. Good. Should we go and pay for our piles? Yeah. I'll do that. Thank you very much. Thank All right, you. thank you. 
We do have bags. We made the cars look fast, so we made us do hey man, a couple of trips. I've got a bag to do. Can you do it? Let me give you a bag. All right. Okay, we've just come out. We've been in there for, I don't know, what time is it? About an hour and three quarters. Have we? Yeah. Wow. And it was really sedate. I know, it was lovely. You could just stack up the books you wanted and scan them. And yeah. <laughs> just... We were at, at the front of the yeah. queue with another reseller couple who we just got chatting with. We just, we just saw them as we left again. They're off to some other place to yeah, go buy. Some fate somewhere. Yeah, so yeah, resellers are everywhere. We we tend to bump into them wherever we go now. Either they recognise us, or we just get chatting, which is nice. Yeah. So we spent fourteen pounds. Yeah, well, that at, was just on the books. Fourteen pounds on the books, and then I spent another about a tenner, I think, on loads of CDs yeah. and a couple of Wii games. But yeah, it was really good. Yeah. I really got into it, I really enjoyed it. What, the scanning yeah. business? Were you self-conscious? Not after a while. No. I did feel that sometimes people were looking, but you just kind of block it out. Let them get on with it. Yeah. Yeah, so... Somebody did ask you, didn't they, what you were doing? Well, the lady who... I got chatting, I, I, this is how I tend to operate, I just get chatting with people, it just it breaks the ice. and she had been watching me scanning all these CDs and DVDs and stuff and she said so have you got something on your phone that tells you if they're any good I was like yeah something like that she said oh that's clever <laughs> I'm like yeah, yeah. yeah. And she was nice she kept going off and finding more CDs and bringing them out for me and yeah. they're just happy to sell it yeah they wanted rid of it the guy who, who um, priced everything up at the end and gave us a price on it was just like giving it away wasn't he yeah. And you've got a load of knitting patterns, a big stack of 60s yeah. and 70s knitting patterns. And they some went, really, 50p the lot. Yeah, some really ugly 80s jumper bat patterns. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to make these things, are you? I know, I'm not a knitter. <laughs> you could give them to Beck, she's a knitter. Yeah. So, yeah, it was really fun. Um, they do it twice a year, so we need to keep an eye open. For... Did we find out when the next one is? No, but I'll just look on the website. Yeah. Anyway, so I don't know what footage I got while I was in there. I filmed a little bit. Did you film anything in there? No, not in there. So we probably didn't get a lot of footage. Anyway, I hope we managed to get across what it was like in there. Such a contrast to the jumble cell that we come to in exactly the same hall, which is like a rugby scrum for two hours. This was just people milling just around. Milling around, looking at books. It was lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely was. Really good. So now we're going to head home. We may pop in a couple of charity shops on the way. Actually, there's a nice one not far from here that I know. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so we may just do that. Anyway. I hope okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I've just looked at the footage and tried to edit it together. It should make an interesting video, hopefully. If you caught us on the Sunday Live Hangout, we did share a lot of this stuff. I didn't go into a lot of detail, um, but we did pretty well. There's the stack of books we got. Mostly um, non-fiction, great big books, uh, some art stuff, some history stuff. Uh, that's the Verve Sound of America, History of Verve Records, a sealed Microsoft XL 2013 DVD and book set, and a load of other stuff there. A couple of Wii games that were a bit of a fail, uh, but they were 50 pence each, so I grabbed those, not a lot in those. The books are mostly going to Amazon, a few may end up on eBay. The books worked out to be about a pound each, or in fact less than a pound, <coughs> less than a pound each I think. Yeah, um, I think it was 12 pounds for the books and then Andrea had a few paperbacks that we added on at the end, uh, so about 14 pounds all in on the books I think. Um, yeah, which is fantastic. A couple of the books that have really good values on FBA, so plenty of money there. And then the CDs, I was really pleased to find loads of media. There was no competition at all. I had as long as I wanted to, to browse through these CDs, scan the lot, and a load of it is new. Um, a lot of it was, here you go. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. There's a little Sony promo only. Now it's, it's the, the normal retail version. Uh, a lot of these, about half maybe, have those stickers on. 
So they're brand new, like reps would have had these. I might need to change a couple of cases, but they are mint and new. Um, the CDs were 20 pence each. If they were doubles, actually this is a triple, but if they were fat box ones, they were 40p. And I got three or four fat box ones and the rest were single cases. It ended up eight pounds for everything, um, which was fantastic. Uh, there's quite a few sealed bits. Uh, these are quite good. This is a audio book, uh, improve your self-confidence sort of thing. And some have these sort of security seals on. Can you hear Monty? It's dinner time, so he's getting excited. Anyway, I was chuffed to bits with that. Most of these, I think, will go off to Amazon FBA. Uh, maybe a quarter will end up on eBay. Not really sure. Haven't been through it in any more detail. They've all scanned into Amazon and were worth doing. So, yeah, that's cool. So there's our little haul. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope by the time I've edited it, it will make sense and uh, be enjoyable. And Monty is really going for it out there now. Dinner time. Anyway, I'll leave you there. Thanks ever so much for watching. If you do enjoy these videos, please give us a thumbs up. There'll be the usual links below to our blog and our Facebook page. So please follow us on there if you enjoy our content. Until next time, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye for now.